What's up, Sagittarius? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your weekly uh, energies here. Uh, starting August 19, 2024, Sagittarius, I hope all is well. Uh, this week here, I'm using uh, John Holland's Psychic uh, Tarot to deliver your messages, not reading any uh, reversals. There are seven chakras uh, to give you a heads up in this deck. So if you receive any of the chakras, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong. It could also... Uh, just simply mean that, you know, um, something is being, that particular chakra, chakra that shows up for you is being activated, which is usually pretty good. And then I also, you know, have a, excuse me, tendency to throw in my own two cents and what I feel could be going on. So with that being said, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius, what's coming up for Sagittarius this week. Energies for Sagittarius. Oh, taking time out to um, let you guys know that I appreciate your continued support of me and my channel. I really do appreciate that. All right, energies for Sagittarius. And here we go. Now, I haven't used this deck in a while, but, you know, uh, it really talks and speaks volumes to me. So you'll see. Um, let me put this in here. Let me... Shuffle that up, cut one more time. So I'll add things that I may see through the cards. All right, here we go, Sagittarius. So we have solitude. This is a major arcana, uh, otherwise known as the hermit. Um, I hope you can see that. It's not too uh, much glare. So you can see she's sitting there with a book. And it's just, you know, neutral energy to me as in terms of how I read this um, hermit. Um, I don't like to use the word solitude, but detaching your energies, just wanting to spend some time alone, quiet moments alone. Maybe, you know, she's holding a book there, so catching up reading a book, that's fine. Just, you know, degressing from family, from job, from, you know, relationships. Um, and just, you know, if you want to um, do some soul searching, then, you know, you could do that, you know, just go and do some soul searching. And it could be anything relative to what's going on in your uh, daily life or something that you are, you know, contemplating to do in terms of moves in the future. Um, it's always an aspect of this is, you know, temporary energy. Uh, if you have to go within to um, do some soul searching, you're going to come out and usually, you know, um, arrive at the answers that you had sought to seek and then, you know, moving forward with a clear um, perspective on things. This is meditation. So it could be just that. Just wanting to be uh, alone for a minute and there's nothing wrong with downtime, quiet time, me time. Major Arcana, um, Solitude, Hermit. Now, next up is Rest, Relaxation, Rejuvenation. Again, detaching your energies. Um, taking a break from your job, taking a break from relationship, um, reclaiming your independence, exclusive, doing something exclusively just for you that doesn't include the attachments that you are already attached to. For some uh, Sagittarians, this could be planning future trips. So, but this is a need for you to rest, quiet your mind and rejuvenate. Okay. Following that, we have the uh, Disruption in Tower. Okay, the Tower is here. So, Disruption is the major arcana of the Tower. So, it always involves, you can see the guy that's here behind uh, the brick wall or whatever, and he's, it looks like he has a straight jacket on or something. Okay, so I always read the Tower as something unexpected or shocking or devastating um, that could occur, but doesn't necessarily mean that those things that I just mentioned is something that's going to happen to you. Now, just to <laughs> let you know, um, it's uncontrollable, number one, so you can't control it. And if it does affect you, it may be... Um, Something that usually, this is usually the universe waking you up to something, okay? And I'm going to use this analogy because the uh, cancers have received the tower in their spread. I'm a cancer son. And I had a hell of a week last week. Um, <laughs> so much stuff going on. I, I had a, a fender bender. Um, I had um, had this, you know, ongoing dispute with my boss. Um Things are getting better, you know, 
like I said before, if the tower shows up here and it does personally affect you, it, it may be some things that, you know, the universe is trying to grab your attention to because it was a lot of shakeups for me, you know, things that I could not control and it was just happening one, you know, one after the other. And I think the uh, fender bender was the real wake up call because I had just, um, just, you know, I wasn't, you know, texting. I never text when I drive. I uh, just happened to look over and there was, you know, construction going on. And so we were cut down to one lane and the person, um, as I was yielding in, the person let me in and I put my hand up to wave. And no sooner did I just look down, you know, on my armrest and stuff, I think I, I thought I dropped something. Boom, hit the truck. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? So, and you know, I, I had my seatbelt on, but it wasn't something, it was a strong impact, but it wasn't something that, um, you know, was, you know, really devastating. Uh, but I put a dent in his fender. The traffic was so crammed. He never bothered to pull over to take information because I was waiting for him to, you know, to see if he was going to pull over, because I was going to be, you know, happy to pull over and give him my information, apologize for what I've done. Nope. He stayed within that traffic. And when the uh, second lane opened up, when we got further down the road, he just sped off and kept on going. And the license plate, it was like a company car or company truck. And the license plate was from New Jersey. So I said, oh, but it gave me uh, an opportunity to pause and slow down, okay? Because like I said before, I had a hell of a week. And I felt that, you know, that was the tower's energy expressing itself. All right, so enough about that. So it could be that, you know, you receive shocking news relative to, uh, you know, global and worldly stuff, local stuff. It could be, you know, and, you know, anything involving our wars, the politics, is, you know, which is crazy or... <laughs> starting to get crazy could be involving that um so you just have to wait and see uh how it's going to express itself uh for you okay and again it may not express itself personally uh to you and hopefully you know because we still got more cards to throw here now this is neutral the herman is neutral so it would not sort of like deactivate or take down any of the tower's energy unless you know the uh, Herman is that energy where you need to, you know, if the tower comes in and does something to you that you need to take time out for yourself, as indicated by rest and rejuvenate. So it could go that way. Anyway, moving along here. Um, oh, earthquakes, weather, hurricanes, whatever. All kinds of crazy stuff could be coming out through the tower's energy or expressed through the tower's energy. Then we have trapped in fear. This is uh, the eight of swords. Eight of swords is feeling like you're trapped. Now I usually uh, save the um, nine of swords for, um, you know, if it's not something that impacts or affects you Sagittarius, you can see like these look like bar prison bars, right? So I always say, if this is not the nine of swords energies that's coming towards you, then you may be connected or know somebody who is incarcerated. In this instance, this is still a card that, um, represents concerns, worries, anxieties, feeling like you're trapped. You're not trapped. If you are dealing with something, uh, of course, um, you know, next week or whatnot, deal with it. Try to get yourself away from that. Decrease your fears, your doubts, your anxiety, worry, sleepless nights or whatever. And, you know, be done with it. Um, this could be tricky, though. You could also be, you know, throwing all kinds of things into your head unnecessarily and it may be directed at a situation person or event that has yet to even come to pass or occur so be careful there i oftentimes get there could be a break in communication with family members friends also romantic partners up next and on top of that we have the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles so it could be that somebody's worried about their job okay but this still would be a, a you know substantial pay raise uh, in this particular deck, there's always, when they have these characters, the sun. So there's some sort of spiritual energy connected to that. So material harvest is what's the, uh, you know, this, you know, on the description of the card. So you, you know, basically reap what you sow. Financial independence, striving to be, or you already are. Like I said, it could be in the form of a promotion. 
uh, substantial pay raise, bonus money, something that you worked hard on, Sagittarius. Now you'll be recognized, um, you know, with that energy. And it could come from your employer uh, in the form of a promotion, pay raise, bonus money, right? Or there's something else that you worked hard on. So it's always reaping what you sow and being rewarded and recognized for that energy. Nine of Pentacles also too could be uh, multiple options that may open up for you in other areas of your life. All right, so that's the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, spending and splurging comes to um, mind as well with the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So if you have the opportunity uh, to spend and splurge on yourself, do so and not to feel guilty about it because you are deserving of it, okay? Whatever it is that you worked hard for. Up next now we have the shadow, which is the moon. Two, three, four. I want to, these are large cards. I want to give you five, uh, ten cards. Well, depending on how I do the spread. But this is the moon. And I want to make sure that the cards are in view that you can see it. All right. So thank you for your patience. The moon is the shadow. Okay. So when we talk about the moon, it's the major arcana. Now it may and this is just a little side note here. It may have something to do um, with this tower. It mirrors the tower here. Okay. So, you know, and you know, the moon on its own could be very, very crazy, especially involving full moons. You know, we always get wild and crazy stuff happening on full moons. Uh, nonetheless, there is a cycle of energy that's closing up for you. A new cycle is about to begin. This is... Um, Trusting yourself, trusting your intuition this week, uh, Sagittarius. This is also revelations. Things that were once, possibly once hidden from you come to the, um, is illuminated. Okay, the sun always reveals, um, I'm sorry, the moon always reveals what was hidden. Making sure that however um, you go about your week, that you are balancing yourself out emotionally because this moon, like the Eight of Swords, can be tricky where, you know, your emotions can run high or they can run low. You want to strike a balance in the middle and just make sure that you are, um, you know, trusting the process of uh, your own intuition this week. Also, to the moon happens to represent um, a greater dedication of, uh, you know, love. It could involve empathy towards others or that energy could be, you know, coming towards you. All right. So that's the major arcana of the moon. Then we have the foundation and achievement. Okay. So that's the foundation and achievement. And that simply is the... Uh, Four of Wands. So this is the happiness card here. Uh, so yeah, you can see the family standing in front of the house. And oftentimes I read that someone could be looking for a new home, apartment, um, looking to move. Four of Wands is celebrations, of course, of all kinds, birthdays, anniversaries, engagements, proposals, family members moving in with one another, could be romantic partners, could be friends. Someone maybe, you know, wanting to... Uh, possibly relocate to a different area, purchase a home. It's always the shared happiness inside the structure of a building. Very positive card here. All right, so that is the uh, foundation and achievements for wands. Now we have another chakra here, okay? Um, when I say another, I had already previously tried to do a reading for you, but I got screwed up in terms of, um, you know, knowing which card was which because I haven't used this deck in a while, so I didn't want to do you any uh, disservice. Third eye chakra, because I think the last time you had the root chakra or the root chakra and it was another chakra. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Third eye chakra is, um, this involves your intuition as well. Okay, open your third eye might open up. And when these chakras show up again, like I said, it may be something that is, you know, activated, that becomes activated. So the third eye chakra, um, <clears throat> of course, is, you know, centered in the middle of your forehead, right? And um, like the moon, it presents or represents intuition, uh, foresight. Uh, it could be anything involving your imagination, uh, anything in terms of, What else 
else do I want to say? Anything that may help you in terms of any lack of direction. That is the third eye chakra. And also, too, because um, when I use this deck, I see certain things. Someone may have an eye appointment or they may be having some sort of problem receiving glasses or contacts or having to um, make an appointment because there's something going on with their their eye or eyes. Okay. Then we, oh, here's the other one. The heart chakra. The heart chakra, um, again, these cards could be uh, what's activated for you this week, uh, Sagittarius. So you know the heart, what does the heart mean? <laughs> the heart grows fonder, um, you know, every day. So it could be that you're expressing yourself to uh, those people that you are close to energetically. Uh, also, too, it could be that... Um, Anything involving your own energies when it comes to, you know, loving yourself, you know, self-love, uh, respect. Um, oh, what else? Do I... It's, you know, about your relationships. It governs our relationships. Now, I've also said like third eye chakra here. The heart chakra, just because it's here, may act be activated, but I always pick up certain other things, like it could be that someone's having problems with their heart or something else is going on. Hopefully, the latter is not true, okay? But it does represent self-love, relationships, um, just loving, just being, you know, full of love and expressing that energy. Up next is the positive movement forward. This card here represents the eight of pentacles. Now, like the nine of pentacles here, material harvest, the boat here always gives me an indication that either somebody's about to trip, take a cruise, or there's, you know, I always get beachy, watery types of energies where there's sailboats or again, somebody's, you know, about to take a cruise somewhere. But if that's the case, you know, so be it. Otherwise, positive movement forward to Eight of Pentacles represents pay raises, balanced energy, working and paying attention to the details of the actual work that you do. Okay. On top of that is Destiny. This is the uh, card of good fortune and fate and yeah, fate and destiny and good fortune, will of fortune. Now, the women here always, there, there could be some Sagittarian women who may, you know, meet up with their girlfriends or there's some sort of, it may be involving a company full of women or there could be a family full of women, but there's some sort of engagement that could be taking place. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven women here, but it could be less than that. It could be more than that, but there's something going on and it may... Um, be involving um, almost anything. What was unfortunate for you in the past may turn around and be in favor of you. You may go somewhere where, you know, something um, auspicious occurs for you that you were, you know, supposed to, you know, come across. Next week is um, the DNC convention. So it may have something to do with the, you know, women coming together in support of Kamala Harris. Uh, it could be almost anything. This is a card that represents money too, big money. So if you are the risk-taking Sagittarius that likes to gamble, play the lottery, just play responsibly, you know, okay? Just play responsibly. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And this Wheel of Fortune here will take down the energy of the tower as well, okay? Stroke of luck. Then we have another chakra here so th this is something where it's related to your throat now i always pick up that somebody could be experiencing sore throats but there's something to do with it definitely has to do with speech communication and it could be that there's a lack of expressing or you need to express yourself to something or you know about something give a speech uh have a talk um you know within yourself just know that it's a form of some type of expressing and communicating. And that energy may be activated for you this week. Up next now we have Stand Your Ground. Stand Your Ground is um, the Seven of Wands. So if you move forward during, you know, during the week here, Sagittarius, uh, in terms of actions or decisions, do so. Okay, don't 
whatever it is that you're moving forward towards or in terms of actions or decisions, standing your ground is my regret card. If you don't, then, you know, you'll end up regretting your decisions or your uh, lack of action. On top of the seven of wands, we have the truth card. Okay, the truth card is the awakening card. Um, this actually will take down the uh, energy of the tower as well. So this is usually judgment. And so what's hidden in the dark comes to the light, like the moon, things that were kept or hidden from you now become revealed. And I forgot to mention too, with the moon is, you know, likes and crushes come forward. <laughs> Definitely likes and crushes come forward. So, you know, some things that you may discover about yourself that you didn't know before, um, could be positive, could be negative, Sagittarius. Some things that you discover about others that you didn't know before, that too could be positive or negative. Uh, you just don't want to use, uh, see, and it says truth. Truth shall be, you know, stand in your truths. Um, truths will be revealed. Some truth surrounding you may be revealed. Um, but there is an energy of spiritual, you know, watching over or protection. Don't forget that as well. This is the judgment card. But you also have to keep in mind that, you know, whatever's going on for you this week, in spite of the tower's presence, that you um, stay positive towards yourself and towards others. And you wouldn't have any problems or you won't have any problems because, you know, this is the card of karma for me as well. What you put out there is what you're going to get back, good or bad. The last card I have for you is spiritual strength. Okay. Now, you would assume that the spiritual strength would be in alignment with the um, truth card. And it is. Um, but this spiritual strength is the nine of wands. So I read the nine of wands as one of my busy B cards. Simply put, you'll just have some energy here to do whatever it is that you need to do this week. If the spiritual strength energy applies to you, then so be it. Um, but just have an energy. Whether, you know, you're doing things that are planned or unplanned uh, this week. All right. So this is what I have for you um, this week, Sagittarius. Again, this is me interpreting these uh, messages here. Um, take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Uh, again, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And... Come back to get more of these messages here. I thought maybe I was picking up a message with the chakra, third eye chakra on the four of wands. <laughs> but it came and quickly left me. Anyway, um, yeah, have a safe week. I always throw in that extra um, caution for safety when the tower is present in your spread. All right, this is Soul again from Intuitive Tarot. I will talk to you soon, Sagittarius. Bye.